Now students, it's a turn for the next question number 28. Consider the table given below. We have this table, form of water A, B and C are given and the temperature in Kelvin are also given. We know that water exists in three different states, solid, liquid and gas. In the solid state, it is called ice and the melting point of ice is 0 degrees Celsius. Similarly, if I talk about the boiling point of water, that is 100 degrees Celsius, and after 100 degrees Celsius or specifically at 100 degrees Celsius, we obtain the gaseous state of water that is steam. Now, if I talk about A, that is there at 383 Kelvin. It means this is the temperature which is approximately 110 degrees Celsius. It means this is the state which is representing gaseous state of water. So, I will just mark here, this is the gaseous state of water or steam. Similarly, if I talk about B, this is 271. If it would be 273 Kelvin at that temperature, ice melts. But before that, there is the solid ice. And that's why it is representing solid state of water or the ice. Similarly, if I talk about C, that has a temperature 308 Kelvin. And that is the temperature at which water exists as liquid. Because at this temperature, there is neither solid state of water or the gaseous state of water. So, here it is in liquid state. Now, we need to just compare the properties of A, B and C and we need to just find out the statement which is correct. Let us check the statement number 1. Constituent particles of C has the highest kinetic energy and that of A has the lowest kinetic energy. If I talk about C, that is liquid while if I talk about A, that is gas. Yes, gaseous state has highest kinetic energy, but here it is given lowest kinetic energy. Wrong option it is. That is why you need to just mark a cross over here. Further, next option we need to read here. That is C has definite volume and indefinite shape. A has neither definite shape nor definite volume. A is gas and C is liquid. Liquid has definite volume but indefinite shape. Similarly, A is the gas that is why it does not have definite shape nor definite volume. The statement is correct. So, this is the correct answer for this question. But we need to look at the rest of the options also. Density of B is the highest and that of C is the lowest. This is also an incorrect statement. Similarly, interparticle space between the constituent particle of A is the largest, definitely because A is gas. But if I talk about C, that has the smallest interparticle spaces. If we are comparing these three, in that case, B should have the smallest interparticle space because B is representing solid state. This is also incorrect. Only one option is correct and that is option 2 that we already found and I will just write here. The answer that is option 2. After this, the turn is there for next question. Question number 29 we have. During fractional distillation of air, which of the following gases is not separated in fractional distillation column? If we talk about the fractional distillation of air, in that case, in fractionating column, we obtain oxygen, argon and nitrogen. But Carbon dioxide is obtained as dry ice. I will just write here. We obtain it in the form of dry ice previously, not in the fractional distillation column. That is why this becomes my correct answer. After this, the turn for the last question of the chemistry section. Let us take that. Question number 30. Consider the graph given below. Have a look on this graph. Here we have temperature at y axis, heat energy supplied at x axis. See, between the points M and N, we have ice. Further, N and O is there. Between O and P, we have water. And between Q and R, we have steam. It means this graph is representing the process of conversion of ice into water and water into steam. State conversion it is representing. Further, what is asked in this question? Which portion of the graph represent latent heat of vaporization? What is that? That is the amount of heat required to change the state of matter without changing its temperature. It means if I talk about the portion of the graph NO that is showing no change in temperature. 
Similarly, PQ is representing no change in temperature. It means during those processes, whatever be the amount of heat supplied, that is used as latent heat. The question is, which portion of the graph represent latent heat of vaporization? It means the process in which liquid is getting changed into vapor or the steam, gaseous state of water. So, if you look at PQ, that is representing that latent heat because in that case water is getting changed into steam. That's why. So, on the basis of that, you can simply answer that PQ. That's given in option 3 is the correct one. That is representing latent heat of vaporization. So, I'll just mark here. Answer that is option 3 for this particular question. I hope all the questions those we discussed are clear to you and you have attempted all these questions correctly in your exam. All the best for your results. Thank you so much for watching.